we can see the finish line, but the push to the end requires all of us to sprint. We are at or near our peak in Mississippi. This is the most painful time. Well, now at four, the peak either here or near. We're starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel as it relates to COVID-19, how the governor is planning to move forward. You get the feeling the focus is now on uh, the eye of reopen eyes toward reopening the economy and be able to get a more concrete decision on, on when and if the economy w will reopen. Let's uh, check in with Gerald right now and find out what's going. Gerald Harris is live. He just finished up watching the governor's uh, press conference. Gerald. Yeah, Walt, you are exactly correct. He put together a committee to begin to look at when is the best date to begin to open up the economy little by little. Now, with the current shelter at home order set to expire on Monday, Governor Reeves said he will look and make a decision over the next 24 to 48 hours and whether or not to extend the order as other states have. He put together an economic advisory team. Important to note, some of those individuals were part of his campaign. He says they will only issue recommendations. We are having conversations uh, every single day and, and two and three times many days uh, about how quickly we can get our economy back open. Um, we are also planning contingencies, not unlike what we planned in terms of these uh, facilities at Shelby and, and community college, et cetera. We want to make sure that we have contingencies in place if things were to continue to get uh, significantly worse uh, than what we expect them to, to get. Uh Another thing of note coming from the presser, mortgage assistance funds available to qualifying homeowners through the Mississippi Home Corporation. Homeowners can apply at mshomesaver.com. Also, the Mississippi Department of Human Services is working to find partners for child care services for essential workers. You can visit their website at mdhs.ms.gov. Now, there are qualifications and, and possible funding for those who want to create those child care facilities. We have a link to their website on our website. That's WJTV.com. Reporting in downtown Jackson, Gerald Harris, 12 News. Well, part of the economy, small businesses. During that news conference, Governor Reeves was asked about resources that could help small businesses during this crisis. He mentioned uh, all the things that are available, but also said that in order to make progress, it's important for us to put politics aside. Everybody agrees um, in, in Washington uh, the, the program passed 96 to 0. Republicans and Democrats alike agree that it is a good program. Uh, they allocated $350 billion for it. And everyone agrees, I believe, Republicans and Democrats alike in Washington have said that they are for the extension of the program and they're for putting more money into it. Well, they just need to do that. Uh, they need to quit playing politics. They need to quit using um, this crisis to try to get things that, that they cannot otherwise get people to vote for and let's fund the small business program. Let's continue to allow small businesses to pay for um, their employees to keep them on the payroll because from the federal government's perspective with what they've already passed either we're going to help small businesses keep people on the payroll or those individuals are going to get laid off and the federal government's going to pay for them through unemployment compensation. Well, coming up at 4.30, we'll take a look at uh, factories and retail stores and see how they're struggling due to the pandemic.